Today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly sharpen your lawnmower blades. Before we begin today, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of cool DIY projects on there, and I also show you how to organically make your lawn look better. It's important to sharpen your lawnmower blades as much as you can because it cuts the grass blade better and that promotes better growth uh, out of your lawn. If you tend to uh, cut your lawn on a duller blade, uh, your lawn, the grass will actually uh, tear and it's going to actually create disease in your grass um, and it could go to the root of your grass blade and cause an even bigger problem in your lawn. We're going to use a uh, regular vise here today. We're going to use an angle grinder. Uh, you can use any kind of angle grinder. I got this at Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. Um, and we're going to also use a flap disc uh, here. Um, this is for metal um, and I really like these flap discs. They really work great. Uh, this is an 80 grit. You can find these uh, at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, or on Amazon. I'll have a link below uh, to one that you can purchase off Amazon if you would like. What I'm going to use to get the blade off is a half inch impact wrench hooked up to my air compressor. Got this at Harbor Freight again. Real cheap. I find the air compressor the easiest way to get the mower blade off. You could use a, a breaker bar if you want, but this, it just gets it off a lot quicker. Um, and I have the Toro Super Recycler here um, and the 14 millimeter um, socket actually works the best uh, to get this blade off. So what you want to do is flip the lawnmower on its side. Uh, you always want to flip the lawnmower onto the side of where the oil tank is. Uh, if you flip it over on this side, the gas is going to come out of the air filter. So you want to flip it over on its side. Take your impact wrench, stick it in there. And there you go. So the next step, once you have it off of your lawnmower, you want to take it over to your vise, put it in there, make sure it's nice and tight. Then you want to take your flap disc grinder here, and you want to make sure that you go along the edge on the angle of the blade here. That's very important to keep that angle on the blade. So as you saw there, basically you're just taking off a light layer of the metal and you're trying to even out any of the bumps here from hitting rocks, branches or anything. Um, basically you just want to do one side and then what you want to do is just flip it over and then you do your other side. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to make sure that the blade is level. So once you have your blade sharpened, what you want to do is, is you want to put it on your blade leveler. Um, I got this off of Amazon. Uh, the link of the product is in the description below if you want one. Um, I recommend you have one. Um, basically, all you want to do is place the blade right on there. Um, basically what you're looking for is looking for it to be level. Um, as you can see here, this is a good example, uh, this side is a lot heavier than this side. So what we need to do now is, is we need to take off more off of this side so we can level it out better. So I went back to my vise and I put it back in there and I shaved off a little bit more of this side um, and we have it stuck on the level again. Um, it's a little windy, so I'm trying to be as close to it as possible. But as you can see, I got it nice and level right now. Um, that's what we're looking for. Um, and then the next step is to put this back on the So mouth. if you don't want to buy a level, what another really cool tip is, is take a nail, drive it into a, a piece of wood. Um, this is actually the side of my garage. Um, but you can do the same concept with the leveler. You can throw your blade on there in the middle. And like I said, it is a little windy, but you can level out your blade uh, this way and it, it's actually pretty accurate. If you don't have a vise, what you can actually do is, is you can use like an old piece of brick or an old piece of wood and uh, put your foot on it and you can take your angle grinder and you can go across this way. Um, I really don't recommend this way because it's a little bit obviously more dangerous than using the vise. Um, vices, they're pretty inexpensive. Um, and you can go out and get them. And if you have a table bench like I do, um, you can place it on there because you're really going to be using that throughout your long cutting season. So it's important to get something that's easy to do um, and it doesn't cause a lot of dangerous activity. The next step is to put the blade back on the mower. 
The Toro Super Recycler uh, has this guard here that helps with the recycling feature better. So you have to put that on there. And then line up your blade properly, take your bolt, and just feed it back on. I like to hand tighten my bolts rather than use the impact wrench here. I just feel that I know that it's on there better. Um, and then basically what I take is always have a pair of gloves on hand, hold the blade and take an actual wrench and then tighten it that way. You can use the impact wrench. I just feel more comfortable that I'm hand tightening this down as best as possible that I know that I got this tightened. And that's Thank you it. for watching today's video. I hope everyone learned how to sharpen their blades properly. Uh, it's really important, like I said, to keep that angle on the blade that will make your blade cut better. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe below uh, so more people can f uh, find this video and they can watch it as well. Um, and also on my channel, I have a lot of cool DIY projects. Um, I also have a lawn side of my channel where I show you how to get your lawn looking better organically.